Hello guys, welcome back to my office. So in last video we talked about pumpkins. Just a quick tutorial on how to build one and what colors to pick. <laughs> Off camera I've been the inside of a pumpkin by exploding myself. And actually I've decorated it a little bit, making it a cool office that I could use sometimes maybe. Anyways, we're back here for the web theme. And in this round I had so much time that I won the game by exceeding and building a spider with six legs. Fuck. After this game, I'll show what I've done off game. But before we start, remember that if you're not subscribed, just check it out. But for now, let's get right going. Alright, so we want to recreate the seamings of a forest or swamp by setting brown clay as floor and as well as the background as lakeside. The clay will look like mud and the background will be just a lake. Our plan here is to make a big web on the corner of the map. I was not very sure what to do at first, but just as I pictured a real cobweb in my mind, I tried to do my best. We're going to pick from our inventories some wool. I would suggest you to build all the web out of cobwebs. It's not a solid block and with such small plot and such small details to make sure you do, wool block will do better than cobwebs in my opinion. Also, I'm using wool because it's white. Therefore, you can just pick another white block if you want. If you will an example, you can build it out of diorite or snow blocks. Um, I'll pass on quartz blocks and white clay on this one because, well, quartz blocks is, looks very solid and white clay is just not white. Now, before I come to talk about the shape of a web, which we all know to be honest, we've all got the PTSD from a child to look like finding a giant spider on the ceiling at 6 years old and you can't do anything else rather than finding a way to not get eaten by the kids. Well, it's still there. Mom! Totally not relatable. Pretend I didn't say that. I thought it could be cool if I showed you a time lapse of a spider building his trap. So, as you can see, it's a bunch of lines converging all to a common point. And then a lot of circles around that point, with the radius adding up each circle. In the game, I was quite panicking since I never had built this before, but I managed to do it quite correctly, just in my way I would say. So the web turned out to look like this, and I'm already starting with the spider. I will go through this theme one day as well, I just feel like this one didn't have the best form to make it into the proper video. I've used pretty much black bull, um, built 6 legs instead of 8 because I'm dumb, no sorry, because I didn't have space for it and also some crimson heads for the 8 eyes. Now, this kind of reminds me of the ant I've built like ages ago. This was the final result, and I like how it turned up. Before I end this video, I want to show you how I mastered this build on my server. As you can see, we're back at my Halloween mega build. The one I sucked with in the Builders Hub competition. On my run here, I've made the giant cobweb and it took me like 2 minutes to plan and about 5 minutes to make it. Quite an easy task, to be honest. I basically abused Vox's sniper in this one. That, that That's why it took me no time to build it. If you want a tip to build this freehands, just make sure you're building straight and you're always pointing towards the common point. If you want to know how I did this with the commons, this is going to be easy. Don't use cobwebs at first. Help yourself with a block you haven't placed in the area yet and build with it. Okay, so. You're going to look at the block you want to use, and type slash v, so you just selected your block. Next up, we're going to set our common point in the middle of where we want our cobweb to be. Take from inventory an arrow and a gunpowder. These two are the items you actually use to run actions with Voxel Sniper. Now, with the arrow on your hand, right click on the block, and type in the chat slash b line. And you're ready to set your first lines. To do that, you hold your gunpowder and right click all the way down on where you want the line to start. And the line is going to finish on the common point, obviously. This is Voxel Basics 101. Now you do that for how many lines you want to have, make sure the number is even though. When you're done, go to a point of a line where you want our circle to start from, and do the same actions. The brush is already selected, so don't worry typing it again. And with the gunpowder, you click on the lines next to the one you're on, and that's it. The process is the same with other rest of a cobweb. 
Once you're done with the snipes, while in chat, slash slash, replace near, select a radius of where you want the command to act, and then select what block you want to turn, in this case lapis block, to cobweb. I hope this last section was clear and I will code it all day. Anyways, that was episode 20 of this Bebato series. If you have any of these wanna see, just leave a comment down below, smash like, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace out.